These women lost relatives in the 1995 massacre at Srebrenica, eastern Bosnia. They draw comfort from each other's company at a center in the Bosnian town of Tuzla. Here they weave traditional Bosnian carpets. Weaving is a source of income and also a form of therapy. The center is run by Bosfam, a women's organization. Beba Hadžić, the director, was principal of the Srebrenica Primary School until she was forced to leave during the war. She knows what massacre survivors need. It's very important to have one place. When you can, uh, can when you want, when you always find somebody who wants to speak with you, when you can sit, when you can try, cry, when you can speak with somebody else who is in position, who lost family and uh, who is returnees, who is refugees, and uh, that's very important to have one place like Boston Center here. Before the war, Srebrenica was the economic center of eastern Bosnia. After three years of siege, the town fell to the Bosnian Serbs on July the 11th, 1995. The women were separated from their menfolk, put on buses, and driven off to Muslim territory. The murder of the men and boys then began in these fields. <laughs> The killing fields of Srebrenica are now hallowed ground. Each year on July the 11th, relatives and survivors gather to bury newly identified bodies. Every day we have somebody who cries. And uh, you must now know when somebody lost a child and lost a lot of big number of family, never can forget child, brothers, husband. And uh, very often we have somebody who has new information about mass graves. And every day we have somebody who needs help to cry in this place. Over 8,000 people were killed at Srebrenica, but less than half have been identified and reburied. Thousands of anonymous body parts are still waiting to be identified at the International Commission on Missing Persons in Tuzla. This adds to the anguish of the Bosfam widows. This group of women is in very difficult position because uh, they have missing person in family, they don't know what's happened with them, they did not find bodies and that situation which is very difficult. And they must know what's really happened and uh, who have responsibility about that. of Bosfam are determined to keep themselves busy. 
they have so impressed the townspeople of Tuzla, their temporary home, that their carpet designs can be found on the city streets. Bosfam itself opens its doors to women of all nationalities. The need to earn a living and recover from the trauma of war draws Muslims and Serbs alike. We are very happy because uh, Bosfam never was uh, just for one group of women uh, all time. During the war, after the war, we have a group of women who is from different nationality. Reconciliation is uh, when you bring in one room two group of women or two women who is uh, from both nationality who can sit together and who can speak. Uh, it's very important when they are speaking, they can tell story about what's happened uh, in one part, what's happened in second part. They can speak about food, about child. They can speak about the next day in that part of uh, town or something. It's very important. That's reconciliation in the field. The road from Tuzla to Srebrenica bears witness to a long and brutal war. These ruined houses explain why so few refugees have returned home to Srebrenica and why the weavers of Bosfam remain in exile in Tuzla, 11 years after the massacre. Esma Divovic is one of the lucky ones. Her house was only moderately damaged. Even so, the repairs are beyond her means at the moment. She simply doesn't have the money. When people ask me something about human rights, about education in that way, always I speak about income for women. When they have income, they will find somebody who will teach them about human rights and they find lawyers and they need support. First, what we want support is income for women. That's very important. These women are seeking a market for their carpets. If they can earn a living, they will rebuild their houses and begin to come to terms with the past. And they're not alone. While Srebrenica is an extreme example, all women who survive war face much the same challenge. I think uh, all women who survived, who was in war in Bosnia and who started with uh, a reconstruction of her life, uh, who give support for child who go to school, who give support for people who is uh, in, uh, sick, old and alone. They are very strong person. But it's very important, it's very difficult job for women and uh, all women who do that in Bosnia, they are very strong. <laughs> Nešto je u nama, 